Hey, hey, hey! Good news, everyone! There was a big news that happened yesterday that I kind of passed over, um, but now I want to visit today, right now. That is the fact that Resident Evil is coming to Nintendo Switch before the end of 2017. Unfortunately, it's not Resident Evil 7, although that's not completely off the table of possibilities just yet. What happened yesterday is that Capcom announced Resident Evil Revelations for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And they released a trailer. And the trailer looks fantastic. And I'll put a link down in the description for you to go check that trailer out. But what's interesting is that they are also bringing it to Nintendo Switch. Now, it is releasing on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 August 29th. So this month. But the Switch version isn't done yet, and they're not releasing that until the end of the year, or in, you know, before the year is up. Now, the big deal here, and the big difference is that while Xbox One and PlayStation 4 are getting Resident Evil Revelations, Switch owners are, are going to be able to buy a collection pack, the, Res the Resident Evil Revelations Collection, uh, which will include Resident Evil 1 as a cartridge, and it'll include Resident Evil 2 as a digital download code, or you could buy each game individually digitally for $19.99, and $19.99 is also the cost of Resident Evil Revelations on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now, to those who might not be in the know, that may sound like Nintendo's kind of getting a deal, but Resident Evil Revelations 2 is already on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So this is just catching the Nintendo Switch up to a, a new version of the game being released, and obviously releasing the Resident Evil Revelations 2. And this is exciting for a number of reasons, particularly because this marks the return of Resident Evil to Nintendo platforms. Now, it feels weird saying return because Resident Evil Revelations was originally on 3DS, and then it eventually got ported over to PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and yes, the Wii U. So it's not like we've really even gone a full generation lately without Resident Evil. Uh, but what, what we do know is that Resident Evil Revelations sold poorly on Wii U, and Nintendo never got Resident Evil Revelations 2, well, until now. So with getting the original Resident Evil Revelations and obviously getting Revelations 2, we are looking at an opportunity to potentially show Capcom that we really love the Resident Evil series, that we as Switch owners, uh, and, and we obviously, I'm just talking about people who own Switch or, or who are interested in owning a Switch, uh, want Resident Evil on the platform. And unlike Street Fighter 2, which sold really, really well, and I'm aware that I, I made some some factual errors in my my talk about the sales of Ultra Street Fighter 2 because that was an exclusive version of Street Fighter 2 for Switch, so it never technically released on other platforms. Uh, I, I mean, it did, but as like under different titles with different features, and I don't know. I'm I'm kind of over you know, Capcom rehashing Street Fighter 2 over and over again, a game that came out in 1991. It's like, it'd almost be if Nintendo was beating the drum with Melee because the Smash competitive community can't let Melee go, so if they just kept re-releasing and rehashing that because, you know, the competitive community can't move on to, to the new game fully. But unlike that situation where, yes, it sold really, really well, and I said, oh, maybe Street Fighter V can come over. Well, Sony kind of played for console exclusivity with uh, that game so the chance of seeing Street Fighter 5 on switch at least anytime soon uh, is not going to happen but there is still a chance of Resident Evil 7 Resident Evil 7 does not have any console exclusivity contracts or is not you know Sony Microsoft or, or you know Steam or anyone is not paying for any exclusive rights to this game so uh, and, and we saw rumors in the past that Capcom was testing Resident Evil 7 on Nintendo Switch before it came out, and they were able to kind of sort of get the game running. Now, whether or not they plan to bring it to Switch uh, entirely, or they were just seeing what the hardware is capable of, we don't know. Uh, and while Capcom has recently stated that they have several Switch version of game titles in development, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that that includes Resident Evil 7. Essentially, until they say Resident Evil 7 is coming to Switch, we can't make any assumptions that it is. But... Since Resident Evil 7 isn't coming out anytime soon, we now have Resident Evil Revelations and Revelations 2. And I, speaking from experience with the first game, which I played on 3DS, Revelations is really, really good. It is almost a return to form for the series. Uh, at a time when Capcom was kind of fumbling around, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6 uh, were generally not well-received. Uh, and 
the Re- Revelations really felt like a callback to Resident Evil 4 and earlier, and I, I really enjoyed it. Now, I never completed it, which is why I'm excited to play it on Switch now, because one, you know, there's upgrades to it. It's in 1080p. It's going to have better frame rates. Uh, it's going to have updated visuals, and this is going to be the most visually stunning version of the game to date. Uh, they're also including... Uh, you know, a, a horde mode kind of thing for multiplayer that seems really, really fun. And I'm excited to experience this. Now, I'm just talking about this mainly because I'm excited uh, for Resident Evil in general. I, I've always enjoyed a good horror game. And while Resident Evil is kind of taking a turn to be more action oriented than horror, um, almost in a Left 4 Dead kind of way, where Left 4 Dead. Uh, the original game had had its creepy moments, but by the time you get to Left 4 Dead 2, uh, it was more action-oriented. I mean, let's be honest, you, you don't get too scared in Left 4 Dead 2. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see one of the better Resident Evil games, and hopefully one of the better sequels to that Resident Evil game, uh, coming to Switch for a relatively affordable price. I mean, $19.99 feels fair. Uh, you know, this is kind of what I wish... Uh, Skyrim would cost uh, so I, I'm happy that Capcom is doing this and showing continued dedication to the platform now I think because this isn't releasing at the same time as Xbox One and PlayStation 4 that this kind of lends itself to the idea that uh, they didn't decide to port this game to Switch until at some point this year. So say they were working on this port starting late last year, even early this year. Switch was probably not included in those original plans, which is why it's slated to release at some point before the end of the year while the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions are coming this month. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of people that feel like Capcom has always been supportive of the Switch, and they're always going to continue to be supportive of the Switch, and that Street Fighter 2 had absolutely nothing to do with Capcom and their dedication to the Switch platform. I feel like this almost kind of goes against that mentality, the mentality that Capcom didn't care about the sales of Street Fighter 2 when it came to their support of the platform. Uh, I, I know that there was a misquote, uh, and I kind of followed that misquote myself about how Capcom was basing the support of the Switch on the sales of Ultra Street Fighter 2, and I realized that that technically, like, that public remark didn't mean what, it's, what, what it was translated as, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not true, um, that's just not what they publicly stated, right? We don't know behind closed doors how Capcom is determining anything. Uh, but what we do know is that outside of Monster Hunter, it was hardly guaranteed that Capcom was going to keep supporting the Nintendo Switch. In fact, the announcement of Ultra Street Fighter 2 uh, did feel like uh, dipping your toes in the water kind of thing, where you're just seeing, you know, with a really cheap, uh, exclusive version of Street Fighter, if it could sell on the platform. Uh, and this is just me as an onlooker. You know, when you look at Revelations, again, it's another old port uh, that's going to be the, you know, the quote-unquote best version of the game. Uh, Revelations 2, obviously, as well. It, it's uh, showing a trend of Capcom where they're still testing the waters, right? They, they are not willing to at least come out and state fully that, hey, our Monster Hunter Worlds is coming to Switch. Or that, uh, and this assumes that Monster Hunter Worlds can come to Switch. I know that there, there was rumors out there. Uh, that Sony kind of ponied up quite a bit of money to ensure it would never come to Switch. And they didn't care if it came to Xbox One because Xbox One has zero audience in Japan. Uh, but their idea was they didn't want it going to Nintendo's platform so that they could increase PlayStation 4 sales in Japan. And from a marketing perspective, that, that kind of makes sense, uh, especially since uh, Sony has more inroads in the West and they're trying to make even more inroads you know, out East and having a game that could potentially could be popular in both markets, not be on a platform that people would rather probably play it on in Switch, in Japan anyways, uh, is to Sony's benefit because it's not going to help Xbox One really at all. Now, moving beyond that, we obviously have to consider that people don't know if games are going to sell on the Switch. Third parties have no history of success beyond so far these older ported games and i'm okay with the trend of porting old games especially if they're high quality ports uh that doesn't bother me i i would love to see heck grand theft auto 5 i would love to see that brought over it's one of the top selling games of all time at this point and it is not on switch and for anyone who thinks it can't run on switch did they forget that grand theft auto 5 originally released on the xbox 360 and the playstation 3 i think people 
have short-term memory with this stuff. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V can run on worse hardware than the Switch. Yes, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and PlayStation 3 are both worse hardware-wise than the Nintendo Switch. So let's not get into, oh my gosh, the Switch can't run this game that originally released on platforms that were even worse and run on PCs that run worse than the Switch. So I'm, I'm not concerned. Grand Theft Auto V can run on Switch if they want it to. But... I'm excited. This is kind of where the direction is going with third-party games. I hope that um, I'm never gonna tell you go buy a game that you don't want. If you don't, if you're not interested in Resident Evil, you you already own Revelations uh, and Revelations Two. That doesn't mean you should go out and buy this game. But I am hoping that the games, personally, from my perspective, sell well because I think it will help Capcom convince them that hey, look, we have a crowd for Resident Evil on this platform. Now's the time to hit it with Resident Evil Seven. And that is something I really want to see happen. You know, I know a lot of people think Capcom doesn't have any good games anymore. Have you looked at their library of games they still make? They still have some high-quality IP and, and some solid games, Resident Evil being one of them. So I am excited. Uh, again, I don't know if Capcom is still testing the waters, but this feels like another testing the waters moment, even though it's coming to Xbox One um, and, PlayStation, and PlayStation 4. But uh, I'm excited. I'm glad Capcom's doing this. I hope this is a sign that more third parties are going to consider doing this because uh, this is a game I think is going to end up selling well. I, I think this game is going to do extremely well on Switch, uh, just like I think Skyrim is going to perform surprisingly well on Switch as well. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, the, the games that are kind of my question marks are obviously FIFA and NBA 2K18 because they're sports titles, and I don't know how many sports fans own a Switch. I know I personally am going to buy at least NBA 2K18. Uh, but I don't know how many other people are going to do that. I guess we'll find out when the games release, won't we? Anyways, this is Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, folks, I will catch you in the next one. Oh, wait. Subscribe. That's a thing, right? <laughs> oh, man, I really should just have a pre-recorded outro for these videos. Have a good one, folks.